the x and the y intercepts. Okay. Notice that now I have the x intercept and the y intercept. Okay. And I'll explain to you what that means. <coughs> well, the x intercept two to get the x intercept is what you do. Let me write it. to find the x intercept replace y with 0 okay and then solve for x and then we put the word then here then solve for x. To find the y-intercept, replace x with 0. And then solve. or y. Okay, so yes, this is the new way of finding the y-intercept. Okay, we could also see it if we were to solve for y, but if I want to find the x-intercept and then the y-intercept, I need to do what I have written here. So, first one, what, what does it tell me to do to replace y with 0? So that would be 2x plus 4 times 0 is equal to 12. So what happens there? 4 times 0 is what? 4 times 0 is 0, so 2x plus 0 is just 2x is equal to 12. <coughs> now what do I have to do here? To solve for x, I have to do what? Divide by 2. So x is equal to 6. Alright? Now, the other side, to find the y-intercept, what does it say? To find the y-intercept, replace x with 0. So we write 2, 0, plus 4y is equal to 12. Anything multiplied to 0 is 0, so my answer my result is going to be 4y is equal to 12. What do we have to do to solve for y? Divide by 4. So y is equal to 3. So now, now that you know the, the x-intercept and the y-intercept, you know another characteristic. And the characteristic, the new characteristic here is the x-intercept. Well, knowing the two, two uh, characteristics, we're going to be able to describe the, the graph. So all we have to do is plot the points. One point is on the y-axis at 3. So there's my point. My y is equal to 3. That's my y-intercept. So it's right there. And my x-intercept is at 6. So that point is right here. So now I draw the line. And that's my, my graph for the 
equation 2x plus 4y is equal to 12. Now, let's think about this. 2x plus 4y is equal to 12. Well, when we, when we viewed it that way, it wasn't in the slope-intercept form. So I, wa I wasn't able to see the characteristics. Now, if I wanted to solve for it in that form, then I would have to solve for y. So obviously, I would have to subtract uh, 2x to both sides and then divide by 4. But I used graphing by the, by the x and y intercept method to uh, discover a new characteristic. Okay, and that doesn't require for me to solve for y. All that requires for me to do is to actually replace one of the variables with zero and solve for the other variable, and that allows me to find an intercept. Okay, that's what you need to understand. If I want to see the characteristics of the y-intercept and the slope at the same time, I need to solve for y. But this is a new method. Thank you, guys.